Hawkeye Holler Nation stand up and welcome back to the channel. I did take a little bit of a break, but I am back and we are back with something brand new here on the channel. This is the Demolition Collision Course. I don't really know if I have a name for it quite yet, but it will be in the thumbnail and title of this video. But yes, this is a fun little event. 16 cars are here and let me tell you what, this is a unique group of vehicles. We got some undercutters, we got some heavyweights. We are about to see who is going to do the most damage here on the demolition track. If you guys are new here, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload here on Hawkeye Holler 2. This is the second channel. Main channel is dedicated to monster trucks, getting ready to hold our third event for our fifth monster truck season over there so definitely make sure you are subscribed to the main channel as well huge thank you to my patreon members and my youtube members for always holding down the port supporting the channels any way possible seriously guys thank you so much for the support consider becoming a patreon member today link down below tiers start at one dollar a month goes up from there now this is a this is really going to grind some people's gears i feel like it because I know there are some purists out here in the Hawkeye, the, not the Hawkeye Holler world. Maybe there are, maybe there aren't. But in the Hot Wheels world, there are definitely some purists and they are not going to want to see some of these cars get beat up. Now, we do have rules and regulations, which I will get to very soon. But other than that, get ready to have some fun 16 car show. It's not going to be a huge long video, but enough to have some fun. So as I stated in the intro of this video, and as you saw in the little snippet in the beginning, we are going to have two cars right up here at the top, lanes six and lanes one. They are going to drag race down to the finish where we will have a slow-mo cam probably placed right about here. And then they will meet noggins right there in the middle. Maybe we'll get all the way up to number 10. This is just for fun, just see how high these cars will get especially since we got some undercutters in this event. But the name of the game, headbutt your opponent and be closest to this blue line right here that is in right in the middle of the turn. You need to knock your opponent backwards or potentially off the track. But if you knock your opponent back and you somehow fall off the track, you are eliminated. You need to stay on the track in order to win this event. Who's it gonna be? We got some muscle cars, we got some trucks, exotics, fantasies, and even a banana car. So, if you guys are ready, I know I'm ready, let's go ahead and get this video started. But if you do enjoy this kind of content, help the channel out so very much by liking the video right down below. It is free to do so, and it helps grow the channel so very much. So very much that we are on the road to 2,500 Hawkeye Holler family members. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you back. Thank, thank you back. Thank you for coming back to watch another episode. And uh, we're going to have some fun. Got a lot of stuff planned for this channel. Uh, we got so many five packs, not only in there, but in that big tub as well. It is filled to the brim with five packs. Maybe we need to start having some five pack showdowns. You know, maybe, maybe throw in some... Uh, Throw in some crowns and kind of be like race wars, but maybe have five pack wars. Uh, mm, kind of sounds interesting. But anywho, we're not here for that. We're here to race. We're here to see some damage. Let's get it going. We will be running three cameras today. So you're going to have the main camera, which you guys are looking out of right now. We're going to have the slow-mo cam. And then we are going to have the GoPro cam. Maybe we will get some amazing footage from that. I'm just hoping that slow-mo cam doesn't die. So I'm going to just, you know, I think, I think we're just going to run them in the way we got them. So let's go ahead and take the Chevelle up against the Camaro. <laughs> A couple of bow ties get ready to do battle. Now this is one and done. All right, who's gonna be the most headstrong? Who's gonna take you on? Oh no, I just uh, quoted trap. Back off, or take you on. Headstrong, or take on anyone. That's gonna be the theme for this event. All right, Chevelle and Camaro, let's go. Oh my goodness.
Wow, an early elimination for the Chevelle, as you can see. An interesting turn of events there. The Chevelle triggered number one, eliminated himself. Looks like he rode the rail right there. He is early out. The Camaro stays on the track. He moves on. Coming up next, you got a Dodge Ram from my childhood. He's already beat up. And then you got a Ford GT Mark II. Maybe it's a four. I think it's a Mark IV. I don't know. So many cars, so many names to remember. I'm doing my best here. All right, let's go. Oh, there it was. the way up to a number five level goes the Dodge Ram. Now, when this happens, both cars are off the track. We have to see which one is closest to that blue line. Clearly, the Ram went all the way off the table, so they are eliminated. That means the Ford GT, who I am considering an undercutter with that nose right there, will move on to take on the Camaro in the round of eight. Coming up next, you got the Tesla Roadster taking on the Nissan GTR Liberty Walk. Maybe we will have a winner for whoever can go the highest on the platform right now, the Dodge Ram with five. Let's go. Oh man, again. Holy smokes, we are getting some insane action with this event. The Roadster is eliminated, only made it up to about a three. The GTR, moving on. That was a big hit. Coming up next, you're gonna have Repo Duty taking on the 65 Impala Lowrider. All right, so far this event has been a success. Let's see who's gonna win this battle. Let's go. Oh, I don't know what happened there. You saw it there in the slow-mo, Repo Duty got upside down in the turn, eliminated himself. What a bum. The Impala sees zero damage in that event. All right, up next, you're gonna have the Matchbox Banana card taken on. Is it, it's not Speed Dozer, it's uh, something greater, I don't know, but it is a cool looking rig. Definitely an interesting pairing. Who is going to get it done? Let's go. Ooh, man, the Banana car. And the banana car does what he needed to do. He knocked his opponent off of the track. And Speed Crater, Moto Dozer, whatever the heck his name is, is eliminated. Coming up next, got Lamborghini Urus taking on Catapult. Pretty fitting for this event. Now, the good thing about Catapult, that is a metal-on-metal metal old school Hot Wheels casting up against a metal-on-plastic newer casting. Let's go. Well, the Urus eliminated himself. Man, that was about to be a big hit, though. So the Lamborghini Urus will be eliminated and catapult. Hopefully we see a bigger collision with his next opponent, but they move on. All right, coming up next, you will have Semi-Fast taking on Circle Tracker. Or stock, stock Car, that's Stock Car. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Also, I do apologize if it does come across on camera. There is a lot of noise going on outside. It is five o'clock here, and I do live close to a military base. Let's go. Oh my goodness. A 
huge collision right here. There is stock car and there is semi fast, but look at this, his windshield along with a piece of my long luscious hair is still on the track. That counts as a semi fast victory. Smooth criminal, but guess what? I am taking this away from you. I'll let it, I'll let it fly once, that's it. It is time for a battle of the Gotham City Police Department. You got the Tahoe up against the Dodge Charger. So which one of these GCPD cars will get it done? I am pulling for that Tahoe. Let's go. Oh man, what a hit. Man, you could feel that up in the rafters up there. But clearly, the Dodge Charger is way further behind than the Tahoe. The Tahoe will move on in a heavyweight battle up against Semi-Fast in the round of eight. So as we move into our second round, we have eight amazing cars moving on. If you guys are enjoying this content, please do me a solid favor, like the video. It helps me out so very much. Let's move on to the round of eight. All right, you got the Ford GT up against the Camaro. This is going to be a good one. Keep in mind the Dodge Ram hit a five on the Richter scale. Let's see what happens here. Let's go. Ooh, good head-to-head -head battle. I do mean it was a good head-to-head -head battle. Look at this. It is going to have to be the 4GT barely as he is more in the center of the turn where the stripe is aligned with. But look at that battle damage on their nose. Man, what a hit. We even have some battle damage on that Camaro. Look at that splitter. It's broke. Coming up next, you got the Skyline GTR taking on the 65 Impala who avoided damage last time. I truly don't think the Impala can escape catastrophe this time. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And the 65 Impala saw a wounded Nissan GTR, and he capitalized on that. Nissan is eliminated. The Skyline had trouble coming off of the Super Stretch, could not get it corrected before the turn, kind of crashed himself, and then the Impala took him out like garbage. All right, Banana Car versus Catapult, another car who avoided a hit. I do feel like if Catapult can get a nice hit, a car is going to go flying. Let's go. Oh, again, the banana car comes off. I think we're going to give this one a redo. Why a redo, you ask? Well, I saw that the track was separating, and I want this to be a clean event outside of the big hits. Let's go. Oh, well, again, banana car gets loose. Well, that is a catastrophe avoided for the banana car. They're going home. Catapult still in this, hasn't had a hit yet. All right, heavyweight time, semi-fast up against the GCPD Tahoe. Say that five times real fast. Now, this one will be a thunderous hit if they can make it clean to the intersection. Let's go. Down and away, there's a big hit. And semi-fast manages to stay on the track, but barely. But a massive hit from the Tahoe. 
Man, sends the Tahoe home semi-fast into the round of four. All right, four cars remain. Let's get our final two. It will be the 65 Impala taking on the Ford GT. Man, oh man, I don't know what's going outside my garage door, but it sounds like a party. Lots of music, lots of squealing tires, and it's only five in the afternoon. Let's go. Oh man, what the heck fell? Well, it was the speedometer thingy that fell. But look at this, the car that did the most damage threw the Impala up in the air and the Impala landed back on the track. You eliminated yourself and you got lucky. The Impala moves on to the final two. That is crazy. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Is that a worthy, a, a worthy finalist over the Ford GT? Crazy. And now things get interesting. It is Catapult up against Semi-Fast. This is gonna be a good one. Let's go. Honestly, I feel like Catapult is heavier than Semi-Fast with that metal on metal casting. Let's see who gets it done here. Let's go. Ooh, man, Semi-Fast with the stoppage. That was, that was Catapult's first hit on the day, and their first hit ends in elimination for them as Semi-Fast moved them to the back, and we have our final two contenders ready to rumble. So our final two contenders are set. This is a first car to win two, best of three, 65 Impala, Semi-Fast. We will switch lanes after each event. Same rules apply. And you know what? The winner from this will will plant their seed into the big show. I am turning this into a 16-week event, episodes weekly, same time, same place, with a big 16th week showdown. So winners from each week will move on to the big finale. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's go. Oh, big hit for <laughs> both cars. What the heck? Definitely, as we go into week two, we will get this straightened out. That way, the far lane doesn't get wobbly like they are. But the Impala with a huge hit, semi-fast, still on the track. I'm looking for him to win. Let's switch lanes and do it again. All right, our lanes are switched. Can the Impala rally a comeback? As the famous tagline goes, who's it gonna be semi-fast for the 65 Impala? Ooh, it will be semi-fast. And just like that, the Impala gave it a good effort. Didn't really think he belonged in the finals, but hey, he put up a good run. He is eliminated. So, truck... Vehicle car number one moving on to the big show and advances to the finale, you know, in 15 week time. So bear with me, it's going to be a hot minute. It will be semi fast. No, he will not get his windshield back. This is how he will move into the finals. Look at that. Let's take a better look at him. So semi fast was able to dog it out with 15 other vehicles. Lost his windshield, and look at the front of that truck. It has definitely, you know, gathered some other paint chippings from other vehicles. But that is the winner from this group. As for the, you know, the sky high winner, we got to go down here and grab him. With a whopping five, it will be the Dodge Ram. I mean, nothing special. He doesn't win anything. Just wins a one-way ticket back into the bucket of misfits that's gonna be it i had a lot of fun with this demolition event i hope you guys are looking forward to 15 more episodes of this with a 17th week 
being a big show where we will have 16 winners from this event. Let me know what you guys think of this event in the comments down below. Definitely like the video. You know, do all the good stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Become part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation. Today is your home for diecast racing where we have fun racing Hot Wheels on this channel and we have fun racing monster trucks on the main channel. Again, you can find all those links down below. Now, with the holidays coming up, check out my Amazon storefront top link down below. Everything you see here, I get from that Amazon storefront. I mean, not 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 the signs or anything. I had the Hobby Lobby, if you guys want to find those. But yes, that Amazon storefront link down below. You guys can find everything I use here. My Fat Track, the Super Stretch, the character cars, monster trucks, everything link down below. It does help support the channel. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. I'll see you back here for another episode. Consider becoming a Patreon member, getting your name on a piece of Orange Track. 20 spots available for an ultimate memberships where you get a mystery package from me every single month. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, love, and die cast racing. I am out of here, and I'll see you back here for another episode. Don't know what's going to be yet, but we're going to have some fun. We haven't done a Race Wars episode in a while. Anywho, I'm dragging this episode out. Bye-bye.